So what do you think of the waterfall? I wasn't expecting that. Were you expecting something worse? No, no, no. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know what? It's just so dramatic. Good morning, everybody. It's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today, we're in Verona, New Jersey, and we've got a little pond with a cool story. This small pond right up against this brand new deck has gone through a couple phases of evolution. It started as a tub plastic pond, and now it's been turned into a liner pond, a little bit larger than it used to be. We've got a little waterfall on the backside. We're actually going to enlarge this. This whole pond is gonna be coming out. These blocks in the front, we're gonna drop down to just above deck level, get it a little more interactive with this new deck space here, and we're gonna expand this way. These shrubs are gonna be coming out, all three of these, so this way it's gonna open this whole thing up because when you're sitting on the deck, that is going to be the centerpiece of the backyard. We're gonna take the waterfall and move it back maybe two feet so we can get a nice four foot stream going in here. It's gonna be our seven by 10 tranquility pond, and we're gonna be going out to somewhere in this area here, so it's gonna be expanding quite a bit we're gonna make it deeper as well. Right now it might be 14 or 15 inches deep. We're gonna go down to two foot. Fish cave on this side, lights, aquatic planting, the whole works right in this small space. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the water out of this pond. There are about 15 fish in the pond. We're gonna move them into our holding tank on the backside with aeration. We're gonna cover it up so the fish can't get out. And we're gonna get started ripping this thing out. We are making awesome progress here. You can see Bully's doing his rock magic. We've got a couple of the lights already set. One in the bottom, two on either side here, and one will be right behind me. That's gonna highlight our spillway bowl. That's gonna be set right around here, adding another spillway to the water feature in addition to our main waterfall. So what we're doing here is we're setting up the skimmer and what we need to make sure we do here is make a watertight seal between the liner and the faceplate of the skimmer. So we've already cut our hole. All we have to do now is put our thick bead of black silicone around the edges, cover all the holes and tighten all our, our bolts, get this watertight. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my How's my man Drew doing? Doing all right, man. We're rocking and rolling here. All right, things are looking good inside the pond. The lower level is done. We've got a light down that end, which is gonna highlight this whole bottom section. And we've got two lights that are on this inside edge, shining outward, directing that light away from the viewing area so we're not looking at light fixtures. On the far corner right there, we're gonna be installing our patio bowl with a nice little spill coming in. That's gonna be a secondary waterfall. Get some cool aquatic plants in there, add to the filtration on this pond. And then over on this side is where we're gonna be putting our biofalls filter. It's gonna spill out this way towards our viewing area. We'll get a nice little stream cut in here and then we'll spill into the pond. Simplistic, but it's gonna be really elegant. I love these small ponds with a little bit of stream and waterfall on them. We are leaving some areas along these outside corners, some extra liner. We're actually gonna dig back, create some planting pockets for aquatic plants. I like doing the outside edges because it accentuates those curves in the pond. If you did it on the inside turn, what it would do is kind of flatten out that edge and make it look straight. I really like the pond to have some nice curves in it, so it looks really interesting. So we'll save those areas for some aquatic plants. We'll have a lily going in here, and we are looking in good shape. Try to catch me howling at the moon.
I love showing you guys little waterfalls like this because it gives you an idea of what you can accomplish in a very small space. Right now, Drew is carving out where our biofalls filter is going to be going. That's what's gonna be filtering the pond. We're pumping into the bottom of it. It's going up through layers of filtration and then it starts the waterfall. When we're finished, that unit will be completely disguised. You won't see any of the components. This is a small pond, but we're gonna make a big impact with this waterfall. We're gonna have water spilling off of that rock right there. And we're gonna have a nice little pooling area that kind of chicanes to the left and it's gonna be spilling out of the biofall. So we'll get two nice drops with lights underneath each one that's gonna make a statement in this small space. And when we're finished, you're gonna realize that you don't need four foot high Niagara Falls in your backyard for it to be impressive. Let's get this thing finished up. When it rains, it pours. Water's up to my chin. Once I fight it to the very end. We got water going in people. If you watch this channel, you know what that means. We are just about finished here. We're gonna be plugging this thing in very shortly. Watch that waterfall come to life, put the fish back in and get some reaction. up on the deck and see it from okay, there. Okay, perfect. Wow. Oh, even from here. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I wasn't expecting it like this. Thank you. <laughs> I love this. So you like it better now that it's lower? Absolutely. Yeah. Because sitting here, even sitting here, you know, and looking out at it. So what do you think of the waterfall? I love it. I wasn't expecting that. Were you expecting something worse? No, no, no. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know what? It's just so dramatic. And I, I you really like the, the bowl there. I like the bowl a lot. I'm really excited about the transformation because it started as like, you know, looking at your videos, I wanted to love for it to look like this. Each year as I was doing something different with the pond, my husband said, you know what, next year, let's do the pond the right way. For years, we've sat here and we looked out, you know, into the yard and, you know, he mentioned that, you know, my pond looked nice, but it would be nice if we transformed it and transformed the whole deck. Unfortunately, he didn't get to see it, but this is a haven that we'll have for the kids. Being in the yard now, it's very serene. Um, it's nice if I'm having a rough day, I can come sit here and just, you know, think about the wonderful memories we had in this yard, you know, over the past 30 years. The best part of the pond is hearing the waterfall. Sitting here, being able to look at the fish, being in the bedroom, being able to hear the water, and just being able to fall asleep to it. So by the time it's finished, what do you picture back here? Oh, just peace. You know, it's just going to be a, our go-to place. Actually, we call it the Peña Paradise, or as you say, Paradiso Peña. 